it's a 10 bedded uh, unit uh, with two isolation rooms. Uh, it's, as you can see, spacious, airy. Uh, it's uh, the delivery of uh, care to level two patients. That, those are patients who are uh, seriously and critically ill, uh, who require uh, close monitoring, a uh, high level of nursing and medical care. Hopefully by having these patients in a, in a setting whereby they are able to uh, receive high quality care that it, we will recognise deteriorations earlier, hopefully avert the need for patients to be transferred to the intensive care unit or if the patient does need to be transferred to an intensive care unit we will be more advanced in plans for transfer at an earlier stage so making it safer. Hi Alison, how are you? Morning Charlie, okay. So who's this? Anya. Hi Anya. McParland. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. This is Charlie, one of the doctors from intensive yeah. care in Craig Avon, alright Anya? Do you mind talking to me through the robot? Yeah. Can I talk to Alison about you for a couple of minutes? Yeah. Okay. So what's the story here Alison? She's a 14 year old girl who came in to write iliac oxygen pain and epigastric pain. Had her appendix out two weeks ago following perforation for that. Um, she there was then decided to take her down for an laparotomy, so she's day one following that for small bowel obstruction because of adhesion. Could you just move your head very slightly so I can see the monitor? Yep. Okay. Okay, so all her obs are essentially normal? Her observations are stable, yeah. What about yourself, Anya? How are you? Not too bad. Are you comfortable? Are you a bit sore? There's no pain, just over the wound. That's it. Yeah, just flip that back. She's on paracetamol regular and she's also on her PCAS. Okay. Okay, and the, can I see the, the, the fluid balance as well? Yes, yeah, release fluid balance is on the soap. She's on her paediatric fluid balance, so positive 848 mils. Okay. Her NG aspirate there was 240 mils in the 24 hours. And has she had blood this morning? She would have her bloods, but they ha wouldn't be back yet, Charlie, the results. Okay, well, when's, the, when's the last sodium we had? Yesterday. And what was that? 4-1. What fluid is she on at the moment? She is on Hartman's, going at 80 mils an hour. Okay, and there's, um, a, a, a sodium's gone off this morning, has it? Sodium went at one o'clock this morning and it was 142 and she'll have a repeat done for the 12 hourly at two o'clock this afternoon. Is there a, a catheter in? She's an hourly aerometer. Okay, and where's, where's that? Is that on the other side? Yeah. Could I have a quick look at that maybe? So she's meeting 30 mils an hour. See it? I do. And 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 what's the urine output? Thirty mils per hour. Okay. Look great. Looks good. Doesn't look like there's any major issues here apart from she does look a bit uncomfortable. Yes, I think what we'll do is try and get the uh, pain control uh, yeah. optimized. I think otherwise her clinical signs are looking stable, and she seems to be improving after her surgery. Yeah, she looks good. Yep. All right, that's great means that although there are no uh, intensivists on site in Daisy Hill it uh, means that there will be 24-7 uh, access to the intensivists on the Craigavon site 
to give uh, advice and support on any of the patients in high dependency unit or indeed uh, throughout the hospital. You can get a, a huge amount of information via the um, um, a robot. You can you can get to, uh, in real time the information from from the monitor. You can see the, see the the um, the urine in, in the urinometer. You can see the patient up close in in high definition. You can look at all the charts and all the observations. And there's also a facility for listening to the patient's lungs and heart through a stethoscope that's on the back of the the robot. The robot is an exciting development uh, in the delivery of care to uh, patients in Daisy Hill High Dependency Unit. Uh, this robot, uh, as you can see, is mobile, can uh, go around and do, conduct ward rounds with the nursing and medical staff in the High Dependency Unit, uh, can interact directly with patients, uh, converse with them, and look at their clinical parameters and make decisions and give uh, uh, advice on whether patients are, uh, need to have their treatment changed. The uh, patients and patients' families seem to be very appreciative of having a robot uh, because they can see the doctor who is controlling the robot and uh, this doctor can then uh, conduct interviews directly. Well, I thought it was a bit unusual, the robot coming around, but it's nice, it's a bit unusual. It brightens up the place as well, a different doctor coming around, different opinion, you know. This is uh, one of a series of developments uh, for the delivery of uh, high quality care for patients in the Southern Trust, particularly at the Daisy Hill site. Uh, we would look at this uh, in conjunction with other developments as showing the Trust's commitment to uh, enhancing the uh, services that are available to Daisy Hill Hospital and to uh, continue to provide the high quality care that's necessary for an acute hospital.